Hello tankers, what is up? Ben here, welcome back to another Beard Guys World of Tanks PlayStation 4 video. So, we are back in the E25, we are on the road to Tier 10. And we've got a nice little one for you on Scorpion Pass here. I think it's probably the first time, or one of the first times I've had Scorpion Pass Assault. I think it's probably the first. It doesn't come up too much. Um, and it felt like, I don't know, it's a long... I thought it might be tricky, but it was, wasn't the easiest. Um, it's a long ass way to drive to get over to that flag, especially when you're not in the quickest vehicle. Although the E75, considering its armor, I don't think it's particularly slow. Um, but I wouldn't say it's super speedy. But we do have quite a nice matchmaking. We have nice matchmaking in that we're top tier. There are four tier nines on the other team, and there are three on our team, which isn't the biggest deal. Doesn't really bother me. But the enemy team, therefore tier 9s are all in a platoon together so that could be difficult but don't always assume that just because the enemy tanks are in a platoon they're going to be any good it isn't always or <laughs> probably fairer to say isn't often the case just because people have the ability to communicate with each other doesn't mean necessarily that they will do that well so we are rushing over here. I don't really know. I mean, I don't really done the layout of this map's loads. I haven't had a huge amount of rotation. When I have, it tends to probably go from like the F1, F2 sort of spawn and then just move up into the, the more open areas up near where their flag is. Or I'm kind of spawn the other side and I go straight up onto the hill in something kind of spotty or snipey. But instead, we've barreled straight down here because um, I'm in a big tough as heck armored tank and I want to get involved there we go there is one of the enemy tier 9s in the 303 clan we fire a shot at him but we just derp into the rock thought he was poking out a little bit more but he strangely decides to uh, to let me have a shot on him and uh, and completely fluffs his doesn't feel like the tank that he should be driving out of cover up with to snapshot at an E75 but there you go so we tried to spin around, and now this round, like, it, it might, maybe it's not the most impressive. I'm not always fighting super top tier tanks in this, in this round, but uh, I think it's a nice bit of play. You know, I'm getting hit from a lot of angles in this, and we have to keep readjusting our targets to, to cater for that. It's an IS-3, we put a big hit into him, We've got an enemy conqueror up on the hill. There's a lot of shooting lower tier tanks in this, yes, but, um, you know, it's good matchmaking, but you've got to take advantage of that as well. And I enjoyed it a lot. I think you'll hopefully enjoy me stomping on some of these guys. There we go. There's an enemy Ferdinand. Dangerous gun. He fires. We can aim in nice and calmly. Take the shot. Side scrape out a little bit. Make a little mistake here. See the angle. We put the shot in. But we're side scraping it. A little bit of a too steep an angle there. Overextended ourselves. And um, gave, him a, gave him a shot that he could pen through the side of our armor. So we've adjusted that a tiny fraction here. There we go nice bounce on the side and that is what you're trying to do when you're side scrape create that angle that's going to bounce the shot here we go spin very quickly back around the ice is thinks he's going to flank us oh no you don't sunny jim we have spun our tank around and you are screwed put a second shot into him he's still trying to reverse out there and will he escape in four seconds and it's not looking too good mate is it here we go and he is taken down from well, pretty much full health i think that was him thinking he had such an awesome flanking maneuver didn't quite work out. Now I think the IS and maybe the Tiger 2 I think put the uh, tracking shot in to me initially. Puts another one in. We give him one in return. And sadly he repairs it. Either repaired that or he had a very quick crew with a repair kit to um, to repair that so quickly. But it looks like he used it up. Oh, there we go. It's a little tier 6 tank. Put a snapshot into him. Keep in check in the other directions because there are sort of three different routes they can get attacked from here. This guy's absolutely YOLO down and he's followed by one of the top tier TDs very stupidly. I don't know why he uh, decided to do that. It wasn't... I mean, they're defending, especially because they're defending here. It was a weird one because like the matchmaking's very nice, but a lot of them just absolutely barrel in. I think, to be fair, I think they maybe underestimated... I don't know. They underestimated what I might be able to do in my E75. They didn't need to be so aggressive. They could have sat back. I'm trying to find the shot in the E75. There's some weird cover going on there where it said that the shot wasn't on. I'm not really sure what was in the way, but um, we missed it anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Find the shot into the side of his turret. 
Nice one. He's the priority target, you know, unless there's someone in shooting right at me. If there's an easy shot into their enemy E75, then you got to take that shot. You know, these tier 6, tier 7, even tier 8 tanks, especially this guy, um, not too much to worry. This guy would be lucky to pen me from, from the rear. So if that shot's on on an equal tier, top tier heavy tank, he's your man. The T29 here has noticed me. He's trying to get out of there. Somehow that shot doesn't actually... Uh, doesn't actually pen him. Well, it doesn't damage him. Just damages fuel. Type 2 thinks he can have a bit. Fluffs his shot and we put one back. And you can see how this... I think I enjoy this round because as well as dishing out a lot of damage in to admittedly fairly low tier tanks. Shows what you can do with how powerful this armor is against people who don't have really high caliber guns or really high pen guns. See if we can... Uh, I thought that probably wouldn't pen on the Tiger 2, but... I thought I'd throw the shot in there before we dive around the corner just to see. You never know. It was quite a steep angle, even though that was his lower plate. Oh, look, we even decide not to be lazy here and drive out because the M 75 is there. That was admittedly fairly lazy, but we fired quickly. I thought he'd probably be aiming in to fire at me. See if we can bait the shot. And he just buggers off. So, poor old Tiger 2. I've got a Prem shell that I loaded for the E-75. And Mr. Tiger 2 gets it. Now the enemy are down to three tanks. We've got five kills. We've got 17 damaging shots, which is pretty crazy. And here we get lazy. And he still manages to miss. I don't know where his shot hit me there. I guess that must hit the lower plate. I can't... The upper plate. I can't think that that would have bounced on my lower plate. Although I guess it, if he'd hit the lower plate from that angle, it might have done. I guess if I was slightly sideways. Either way, he bounced. He leaves us on a very respectable amount of hit points. That means I can take a shot from either of their tanks. They've got the the tier 9 waffle. They've got a Tiger 2. And they can both shoot me and I can survive. Now, my only concern here is that we are still a long way from the flag. We've got one guy near it, but there's only three minutes left. And it's probably going to take me the best part of that to drive over and actually get on their flag. So if their guys are just hiding right at the back or if we don't spot them... We could still lose this, even though it's a two versus, what, eight or something? Nine? Pretty outnumbered. Could still lose, you never know. Like, we've got a heavy over there. Who knows what he's going to do? Well, he killed that guy. <laughs> but never trust in your teammates to always do uh, what is right and good and what is sensible. And will win you the battle. I've seen, I've seen stranger things happen. I'm not sure. I think, was this the guy from that I shot right at the start? Was that the guy who yolo down i'm not quite sure but i guess this guy came forward and then backed off because he's uh he had already taken a hit by the time he got spotted there but yeah i'm not quite sure what he's doing back there run away for maybe a last ditch get a couple of shots off i guess unfortunately he decides not to charge around on me goes the other way but we do manage to make it to the flag in the meantime we can look at the lovely sand solid camo that the 75 gets I wish that I want them to add more solid camos to water tanks. I think this one looks great. I think the British one, they get a green one that looks awesome. I want to see more of those. If I could put like a solid camo on all my tanks, I'd probably have it on pretty much every camo. I think it looks a lot cooler. I'm not a fan of like the, I mean, I like the wacky camo on my TOG. Don't get me wrong, but uh, <laughs> but otherwise I like the solid ones a lot more. But there we go, guys. We've got the mastery, mastery badge. Quite an easy mastery badge, 1885 with the, uh, with the tiger. I remember that being the Tiger 1. I think that was, what was that, like 2100? More than that, maybe? It was a lot more than this. So very surprised to get a, uh, a mastery badge on less than 2000 XP. I'm kind of used to them being all over 2000 these days, but there you go. Pleased with that. 5,500 damage nearly, 1,000 assisted, 2k blocked. Very, very nice. Nice amount of silver as well. And not a bad amount of XP. So there you go. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I think the... Um, it bodes well that the mastery is that low, it means the marks of excellence is probably going to be fairly easy, especially what, um, especially considering I got the master, not just because the mastery was quite low XP, but also because I've got it quite early on in the grind, like within 20 or 30 games, whereas the hammer, the, uh, sorry, the Tiger 1 took me, I, like I got, I unlocked the next tank and then had to put some effort into getting that. And it took me another maybe 10, 20 games. So nice to see it come up early. Hopefully we'll get those three marks within maybe 100. 110 games we'll see especially because i've had to use a well not had to but especially because i've used a little bit of free xp to um to speed that grind up as well but anyway there you go that's the 75 again sorry i probably didn't mention in the beginning but this is the same setup as the previous game that you saw this is the top turret but not the top gun so very bouncy turret but not dishing out vast amounts of damage 
and uh, hopefully the next games you'll probably have the fully upgraded one I think I'm not too far off it might still be this setup but we'll see it depends what games I have I'll probably sit down and try and record some some live comms next I think but we'll see they're good fun and I really love this tank so it's uh it's not a chore at all to uh, to knock out videos for it nice one all right guys well thanks for watching my name's Ben we are the beard guys and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.